You know, and it's right. First lady, I can't sit down. I can't. It's just hard. When, when, when God has got something inside of you, yeah. if you sit on it, I'm afraid that somebody will take it from you. Yeah, I know, that's so right. I am not going to sit down on what God told me to do. If he tell me to get up and sing, I'm going to sing. If he tell me to shout, he told me this morning to run, so I had to run. Yeah. So I just thank God for that. And I just want to thank everybody, the True Word family. First of all, I want to thank my parents for giving me birth. Yeah. Yeah. Because if it wasn't for my mother and father, I would not be here. Amen. I was the last to be born, but I thank God that I'm their only girl. And I always threaten them and tell them, if you ever tell me later in life I got another sister, we're going to have a okay. <laughs> serious problem. But I just thank God for my parents. Can my mom and my dad stand? For those of you that don't know my parents. Yeah. God knows that I, I, I try my best to, to look out for them. If I can't talk to them every day, I try to touch bases at least to let them know Amen. I'm alive and they're alive. Amen. And I want to thank God for my True Word family, for every one of you guys. Um, you know, it's, it is. It's really hard to sit down when you know you got something you should be doing. And I'm, I, I am that way with God. And God tell me to keep moving and keep going and keep going and I'm going to keep going. And I thank God for that. I want to thank God for the praise team. Um, this is our first time I think we've ever got this much of a break, but it ain't gonna happen no more. Ah! We can't sit down with God and have a ah! sing, and we go sing until our vocal cords hit the floor. And I, like I said, I just want to thank everybody. Everybody has been so awesome and so wonderful this year. Um, I'm just expecting more of God. I know He's already led us into another area of life. I'm just asking you guys understand this. It's going to be tougher for me, but as it's tougher for me, I'm putting the pressure on you. Amen. And it's only because God is pressuring me to pressure you so we can all grow up a little bit wiser, a little bit smarter. Now we're 13 years old. I don't know if any of you read my Facebook page, Our Baby. Our baby is the church. Uh -huh. We're no longer babies. We're teenagers. And we know we got to work. Uh -huh. We got to work on hand. You teenagers are going to be mischief and rebellious. But you know what? Not with God. Uh -huh. We got to do what we got to do in Christ. We got to get up and be adults in this. Uh -huh. This is a new journey, a new venture for both of us. And I just thank God. I'm just asking that everybody just continue to pray yes. for me. Uh -huh. Because first lady, you know, being a pastor's wife is super tough. Uh -huh. right. Super yeah. tough. Because we get pulled all kind of ways, and not only that, we have to also lift up our husbands as well. As him being your hus your pastor, your bishop, we have to continuously keep them lifted up. We have to continuously keep them prayed up. I always tell people, if you can live one week in my shoes, you'll probably give them back to me. Ah, okay. Because it's a tough job. It really is. But I thank God that he has brought us to this place. I thank God that he has brought me from being the last born to the first born in Christ. Amen. And I know that we're going to mishap in that. And he always has said that I'm going to use you to get them. Amen. And God knows that everybody that's been here forever knows that I prayed on the altar on many a days for my father and my brothers. And guess what? All I'm saved. Yeah. Hallelujah. My prayer was not in vain. And I am. I'm just myself a prayer. I'm going to pray. I'm going to throw snot everywhere it needs to go. I don't care because if I have to pray out, if I have to cry out for you, I'm going to do just that. Amen. I'm not ashamed. I'm not afraid. I'm going to do it where I got to do it and do it decently in order the way that God has instructed me yes. to do it. And I thank God for that. I thank God for my husband. Amen. For As you guys know, Thursday was our anniversary, the 14 years that we've spent together. I thank God for that. I don't take it for granted. Amen. But I thank God that he's brought us this far this long, I mean, and, and to remain where we are in Christ, and it's been a tough job for both of us as well, but I thank God, and I know, if he's given us 14 years, he got 14 more for us. Yeah! I, I told God, I thought, even though know, we're not supposed to do this, but God, I challenge you to give us 14 more. Uh -huh. And then after we get to 28, I'm going to challenge him for another. Uh -huh. Right. Go ahead, yeah. go ahead. Because I know he can do it. Say what, son? I just want to hear you. A change. 